Hey everyone, my name is Katie. Welcome to my basement. It is Tuesday. Um, we are going to do some cardio and core today. Um, I'm excited for today's workout. We're going to have four rounds. Um, the first three rounds will be cardio and core focused, and then our last round um, will just be focused pretty much on core. And we've got three exercises per round, uh, 30 seconds for each exercise, 15 seconds of rest between each exercise. And we'll start with a five minute or a four minute warm up um, about, and then um, let me start my timer. Um, and then we will also stretch at the end. So all in all, should be pretty much exactly 30 minutes. Um, but we'll go ahead and get started with that warm up. Just make sure our body is nice and warm. All right, here we go. Grateful that you're joining me today. Whenever you are watching this, this is going, um, it's going to premiere at noon today on Tuesday. What is it, the 20th? Um, but of course, with our channel, uh, you can do anything or watch these at any time that you want. All right, so we're just going to get it warmed up here. Do some hamstring curls. We'll um, do some arm circles in just a second. All right, stick it here for a few more seconds. And three, two, and one. Good, let's just pull it into some high knees here. Nice low impact high knees. I hope you all have had a good week so far. I was off on Friday and Monday and it was very nice to just have an extra long weekend to celebrate my boy's uh, fifth birthday on Sunday. Good. All right. Let's take it into just some um, arm circles real quick. Can march in place or, um, or do those hamstring curls. All right. Take that back. Pull that core in. Good. All right. Let's take it into some side reaches here. And of course, I didn't mention this before, but if you would like, you can put on some music, make it a little bit more fun. Always nice to listen to music while you're exercising. Makes it more of a party. For sound purposes, I'm just going to keep it without the music. Good. Side to side here. A couple more seconds. You want to take it nice and wide. Two. And one, good, take it nice and wide, moving it side to side. Ooh, you can tell I did a lot of walking over the weekend. I went to the zoo, to the museum, but all that walking, I did not do much stretching and I am feeling it today. Good, so just side to side here. Good, we'll do some nice, easy squats. Just a second. Good, and two, and one. Good, nice and easy squats here. Just warming up a little bit. Don't need to go down in full range of motion quite yet. Just squeeze those glutes up at the top. Good. A few more here, two. Last one, good. All right, let's take it um, into some lunges. Stop that hip. Bend into that knee and then straighten it. Good. Let's do three, two, one. Switch sides. You can rotate or just move the leg forward, different leg forward. All right, we'll do a few more of these and then I'll have you do some jumping jacks or you can march in place or you know, whatever it is that you wanna do. Okay, good, two and one. Good, slowly stand that up. Just keep moving in some way. I'm gonna show you our first three exercises and then we will jump into the workout. Hmm, I spilled water all <laughs> You saw it here, folks. Um, okay. Um, all right, so first exercises, we've got windmill jacks, a lunge with a leg lift, um, and then side crunches. So windmill jacks, 
we're going to pop those legs out and reach for our opposite toe as we do that. So just popping those legs out. Option is to step it and reach, okay? So you've got those. We're gonna do then a lunge with a leg lift in the back, okay? So if you need to hold on to a wall, feel free. And then lastly, we've got side crunches. So let me just show you those real quick. We've got, we're gonna be on one leg, arm up to the side, bring that knee up to the elbow. We're gonna do side. So we'll go through this, um, these exercises twice. So we'll do the lunges um, on one side, the side crunches on one side, and then the second time through, we'll do them on the other. All right? All right, so we're starting with those windmill jacks. And four, three, two, and one. Here we go. Remember your option. Step the foot out one at a time for a nice low impact. Getting a good twist. Okay, up to that ceiling. Good. Ten more seconds here. Option. So add the hop. All right, in four, three, two, and one. Good rest. All right, lunges. Oh, the other thing I should say is that whenever I do my workouts in my basement, I like to do them barefoot. But of course, you can wear shoes. Two and one. Here we go. So I'm taking my right leg is in the back. Lift that leg. Remember. Balance is a bit of an issue. Use the wall. We're really just trying to keep that leg nice and straight and squeeze through that glute as we lift it. So down into that lunge, driving our weight into that front heel. Good. And four, three, two, and one. Good. All right, side crunches. I'm going to continue on my right side. Keep moving those feet somehow. Good, starting in three, two, one, and here we go. <sighs> Trying to bring that knee up to that elbow, getting nice crunch into that side. Getting a little cardio action from it too. Burning out that standing leg. In three, two, one, rest. Good. All right, halfway through that round. Let's do our windmill jacks one more time. All right, we're starting in three, two, and one. Here we go. Good, 10 more seconds. Check in with that core. Pull that belly button into the spine. Come to your option. Step one foot out at a time. And rest, good. All right, back to those lunges. I'm gonna do my left leg back this time. So again, if you need that extra stability, use a wall or a chair. Two and one, here we go. Pull in that core, keep it nice and tight. Get a good squeeze through that glute as you lift that leg. Balance on one side might be a little bit better than the other. You can tell this side I'm struggling a little bit more with my balance. Two and one, good. All right, last exercise of this round. We are going to do our side crunches. Oh, it's heavy. All right, two. I'm on. Here we go. And hopefully you're starting to breathe heavy. Start to feel this workout. I know I already am. You probably can hear it. <laughs> I 
All right, almost there, 10 more seconds. You've got this. Pull that belly button in. Keep that nice solid core. Two and one, good rest. Woo, all right. Good work, y'all. Second round, we've got plie squats, shuffles, and mountain climbers. So, I dropped water here. And I keep stepping in it. I'm going to slip and fall, probably. All right, so plie squats. We're going to take our feet nice and wide. Take it down, and then we can come up into a uh, calf raise. Or if you want, you can add a little hop. Okay, so options there. So we've got those. We've got shuffles back and forth. So just staying nice and low, taking it side to side. You can go whatever distance feels good for you. And then lastly, we've got mountain climbers. All right. All right, three, two. And one, here we go. Plie squats. Good. Nice and wide, so a little side view for you. Trying to come more straight down than going back. So, coming straight down, keeping that tailbone tucked under. Nice and wide, working those inner thighs here. Trying to keep our chest lifted. Two. And one, good. Whew. All right. Shuffles back and forth. Trying to stay as low on those legs as we can. But you do what works for your body. Two and one. Here we go. So side to side. So depending on your goals for this round, you might be taking it low, kind of working a little bit more into that leg strength to keep that those low on the legs. Or... Maybe your focus is cardio, but staying really low makes it a little bit too hard. So you stay upright a little bit more. You just take it side to side, okay? Um, or maybe you're somewhere in the middle. I want to keep it low, but move quickly and rest. So options there. All right, mountain climbers. Take it down to the floor. You can also take it to the wall. Okay, so you got options. Two. And one, here we go. So, keeping those wrists right under those shoulders. I is out in front. Bringing those knees forward. Maybe you're going fast. Maybe you're taking it a little slow. That's too much. Hold the plank on your knees or toes. And just do that, okay? So, whatever works for you. Two. And one, good. Whew. My low back has been bothering me a lot lately. I'm not gonna lie. So if I wince or <laughs> do anything like that, that's why. All right, back to those plie squats. Two and one, here we go. Make sure you're breathing. Pull that belly button into the spine. Keep a nice solid core to help protect that low back. If anything doesn't feel right to you, you're feeling pain, and that might mean you need to make an adjustment in what you're doing. All right. Good. Two. All right. Back to those shuffles. I'm going to start on this side this time. So again, you could take it slow. Stand up and take it quicker. We do a little bit in between. Trying to stay as low on those legs as you can. Taking it side to side. Some people like to add a little floor tap. So, whatever works for you. Maybe you're up here. This is your level today. Maybe you want to take it slow and keep it low. Either way, it's fine. You do what works for you today. Two and one. Good. All right, finish up with those mountain climbers. Whew. All right. Starting in three, two, one. Here we go. Climbing it out. 
Whew. Did a little core work over the weekend and oh my, my abs are sore. Making this a little harder today. Good, 10 more seconds. Remember, you can also hold that plank. I don't know about you all, but whenever it rains and it's like dark and gray, it like saps my energy. Two and one. I always feel so much more tired. I think that's a pretty normal thing, but that is what I've been feeling yesterday and today. All right, so we've got lunge pulses, skiers, and um, a plank variation. So um, our lunge pulse, we've got a couple options for you. You can just keep it here in the pulse, pulse it out for 30 seconds, okay? Or you can do a little pulse and switch, or you can just do plyo lunges. So whichever one feels good for you. We got skiers. So those are gonna be um, two feet together, taking it side to side. Okay, option is to take it one foot at a time. And then I'll show you our plank variation when we get started. All right, two and one. What are we doing? Oh yeah, pulses, sorry. So lunge pulse, just keeping it nice and low. Now, if this is too stressful on your knees, that's fine. You can either take it into just a reverse lunge, take it nice and easy. Maybe you don't take it all the way down. Or if you need a little bit more, you take it into the pulse and plyo, which I'm not very good at right now. All right, rest. All right, skiers. Like memory problems, I can't remember like, what I'm doing from exercise to exercise. All right, so skiers, either one foot, or double foot, ready, here we go. So side to side here. Or you're here. Just make sure that if you're doing the low impact that you really are getting those arms involved. Whoops, this is my balance. Okay. Maybe it's a little bit of the in-between, you do more of a leap than a step. Two, one, all right, plank. So you can either just hold the plank and do a walking plank, being up and down, or if that's too much, a little in between, it's gonna be a forward and side touch. Okay, here we go. So again, you just hold that plank, keep that there, or you can add the walking. I'm gonna take my knees out nice and wide. Or a little in between for those. It's going to be taking a reach and a reach, a reach and a reach. Just alternating that. And rest. Good. Woo! All right, y'all. Last time through. It's our last standing round today. All right, so lunge pulses. I'm going to do my other side. Two. And one, here we go. Whew. Get your balance. Pulse it nice and low. Remember your options. So just pulse it out. Burn out that leg or add that plyo movement. And breathe. I know I'm breathing heavy. You can probably hear it. Good, in five, four, two, and one, good, stand it up, Whew. shake that out. All right, we've got our skiers, and then we're gonna end with some core work. And breathe. All right, three, two, and one, here we go. So that side to side leap, or a double leg, side to side, okay? Or step it. We get those arms involved. I'm gonna go for the middle of the road here. Good, in five, three, two, one, rest. 
All right, down for that core. Remember your options. You can take it into that full plank. Take it to the knees. And here we go. So taking it out and in. Or doing the walking plank. Make sure if you're doing the walking plank that you're planting those hands right under those shoulders. And alternate which hand goes down first, which arm goes down first. Three, two, and one. Woo! Okay. Not gonna lie. I am wiped. Okay, so we've got our last um, round is gonna be three exercises, three core exercises. So like I often do at the end of this class, we're gonna do side plank. We're gonna do side plank, bird dog, and climbing rope. So the side plank, um, we'll do one side, and then we'll do the bird dog, which bird dog, um, we're gonna do one side as well. Just keep it on one side. And then we'll do our climbing rope. So turning over, trying to pull that rope down from the ceiling. And then we'll do other side, a side plank and bird dog and then end with climbing rope. Sit up straight. All right, so side plank first. I'm gonna start on my left side. Lift it up in two and one. Here we go. Now, if you've taken my class before, you've heard that I, um, you've heard me say, but personally, I'm trying to work on my um, side, my side body strength. So I'm working through that strength in my obliques. So for me, I find that doing it on my knee and then adding an extra challenge is the best option for me right now. I could also take it up, but this is my favorite. All right, and rest. Um, so just kind of figuring out what works for you, right? All right, so bird dog, we're on all fours. Pull that belly button into the spine. I'm gonna reach my left arm and my right leg. So stretching it out, pulling it in, while trying to keep that belly button pulled in the whole time so that we're not arching our back, okay? So really trying to pull in that in, that core in, really focusing on good form as we do this. Looks like an easy exercise, but if you're really focusing on keeping that core pulled in, it's pretty tough. And rest, good. All right, climbing ropes, I'm gonna flip over, have a seat. I'm just gonna set it back. Again, engage that core. And here we go. Excuse me, let's really rip, really trying to pull down through that. Ooh, I'm gonna vacuum down here. <laughs> so, pulling down through that rope while keeping that core nice and tight. Two and one, good. <clears throat> All right. Other side for that side plank. So again, taking down to the knee for me and lift it up. So for me, it's easier to have good form if I'm down on my knee and then add an extra challenge. And then when I feel like I've got this down, then that's when I'll um, go up to the, the full plank. So that's kind of the progression I've decided on for myself. That's what feels right for me. And you just decide what is good for you. Two and one. Good. All right, back to that bird dog. So we did left arm, uh, right leg. So this time we're going to do right arm, left leg. Again, keeping that cord nice and tight, focusing on form. Two and one. Here we go. So reach it out. Keep that cord nice and tight. And breathe so that we're not arching through that back. You will always have a slight bend in your back. 
it's just kind of the natural curvature. We just want to make sure it's not like that it's not extended. Okay, so really trying to keep that low back as flat as possible. And rest. Good. Woo! All right, last 30 seconds here, folks, and we'll stretch it out. Take some good solid time to stretch. And three, two, and one. Here we go. Now, a progression for this would be to lift your feet up. So you can by all means do that. Or you can keep it down. Maybe just holding this position is enough for you and adding the pulling down on the rope is too much. So just keeping it here, really focusing on pulling that core in, keeping it nice and tight so you can support that low back. And also bring it up a little bit and rest good and not have quite as much of a lean back, um, a little bit more, less of an angle will make it easier too. All right, let's stretch it out. Good job, everyone. All right, so we're gonna stretch. I don't know why I went to this right away. I usually don't, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a little butterfly action today. All right, not gonna lie. I'm hoping to see a little bit of sunshine today because, woo, that rainy day yesterday. It took it out of me and it's just been dark. Good, really stretch that out. Okay, we'll do, we'll do a hamstring stretch. So for this one, something I'm always reminding myself is really to put that leg out, really keep it nice and upright and then try to bend forward while trying to keep a nice straight back. I'm just kind of pressing into that leg so that you feel that stretch. You don't have to collapse all, all the way over almost like a different stretch for mostly for your back um, so for here we're just really trying to keep it upright just lean into that um, hamstring stretch that's something I always have to remind myself good let's do the other side and we'll take it to our back we'll do a figure four stretch stretch out those um, glutes and hips a little bit so again don't have to collapse all the way over unless you have that flexibility, then good on you. That's definitely not me. <laughs> all right, stretching that out a little bit. All right, good. Let's take it down to our back for figure four stretch. This is also one you can do in a chair or even standing if you've got the balance for it. But again, just making that four with our legs, and I'm gonna try to push away my top knee while pulling my bottom knee um, away into my chest. Just feeling a nice good stretch right through here. Good, three more seconds. Two and one, good. With the other side here. And breathe. Woo, that feels good. Good. Three more seconds. Two and one. Good. Hug those knees in. Then you can roll yourself up or just take it over to the side. And push yourself up. All right, so let's stretch out the front of those hips here. So just taking that one leg forward. And I'm going to tuck my tailbone and really squeeze into that glute, my back glute, to feel a nice stretch through my front leg. Um, but if I want to add a little bit more, I can just, just come forward a little bit and add that side bend. Really stretch through that hip a little bit more. And open up the chest toward the ceiling, look upward. Also helps get add into that stretch. One, good. Other side. 
All right, good. Other side here. So again, coming forward just a little bit, opening up that chest, feeling a nice stretch up all the way through that body and the hip. Whew. I should say torso, through the torso. A few more seconds here. Two and one. Good. We'll do a few cat cows here. Just arch. And open. Arch. And open. Let's do one more. And open. Bring it back into neutral. Plant those feet. Slowly roll it up. Give yourself a few shoulder rolls there. Good. Let's take a few deep breaths just to end on a nice note here. So just take a nice deep breath in, hold it at the top, and then we'll sigh it out. Okay, ready? Here we go. Let's do one more. Awesome. Thank you so much for joining me today on this gray Tuesday. Uh, I am appreciative and grateful for your time. I hope you enjoyed the workout. Um, if, there, if you liked the workout, feel free to like this video, comment on it, let us know what you liked, didn't like. Um, and then, of course, you can always email us at virtualfitness at tryhealth.com um, to give us your feedback. We're here to serve you. We're here to give you the content that you're looking for. Um, so let us know what else we can do for you, what else you're looking for. Um, again, thanks for coming into my basement <laughs> today um, and have a great week. Um, and then make sure you're subscribed if you haven't done that. And I will see you next Tuesday. Bye, y'all.